this is going to be the first shoulder style holster I've ever tried. It kind of gives off like the old like 80s, early 90s detective type, you know, uh, kind of vibe to it. Where, I, you know, growing up I'd see those type of movies and TV shows with the detectives and they're carrying, you know, and uh, with their shoulder holsters. And I always thought it was kind of cool. So I was excited to try this one out. So like I said, it's a vertical roto holster. And where it gets that name from, as you can see the holster here. It is a vertical holster, so your pistol, your muzzle is going to be pointed down at the ground. It is not a horizontal holster where you're going to be muzzle sweeping everyone and everything behind you, you know, when you're out in your day-to-day -day business or if you're driving in the car, you know, your firearm's not going to ever be pointed at anyone. So it's kind of cool from that safety aspect of it. Now where it gets its name from uh, the roto is going to be because it rotates. So you go ahead and do your thumb brake here and then the pistol as you can see that leather holster rotates and it's pretty nifty little setup there so that makes it easier for you to draw the pistol because if you're drawn straight up like that it would be extremely awkward so it has your thumb brake here and they call it a thumb brake but I found it much more easy to use my index finger to go ahead and on that thumb brake so how I go ahead and unholster is I will put my thumb back behind that strap there Hit that with my index finger and it rotates down. I just go ahead and draw and present. Now, if you were to use it as a thumb break, the reason I don't like doing that is because if you go ahead and hit that with your thumb, then you can see your hand's completely off the pistol. So you got to completely readjust anyway and go ahead and get your hand up there on the grip of the pistol. And this is cleared and safety checked so you guys know. No live ammunition in it. So I found it much more easy and convenient to do it with my index finger, like I said, and just a little bit of practice, and you can get pretty quick and efficient with it. Now when reholstering it, your thumb brake there, as you can see, it kind of bends inward there. So what I found the safest way to reholster this is go ahead and just hold that against my body, and then I'll go ahead and start the pistol in, and then get it all the way down in while holding that thumb brake away from the pistol. It has a tendency when you're reholstering to go ahead and sometimes get inside that trigger guard just due to the way it bends. And so you don't want to be reholstering with that in the trigger guard, of course, because you could have a negligent discharge, which would be bad for everyone, especially yourself. On the other side of the holster here, you got a double magazine pouch. So that magazine pouch kind of helps balance out everything, which is real nice. So all your weight's not going to be just on one side. So over here, you can go ahead and just reach over, pull out your magazine. It has two screws inside of there, right there, where you can adjust the retention of your magazines. And I found I like mine a little bit looser. So as you can see, it's not loose enough where the magazine's just falling out because that would be a bad day but it's loose enough where I can easily slide it out there, but it's not gonna fall out on its own, and that is a fully loaded magazine there. Um, on their website, when you're ordering this holster, it does give you the option to say how many rounds you're gonna want these magazine pouches to hold. So if you're someone who likes to run extended magazines, that option is definitely there. I had mine set up for just 15 round magazines, but uh, you can do, you know, 17, 21 plus if you wanted to and carry, you know, you could probably do some of the happy sticks if you wanted for your Glocks. As far as keeping everything in place, you can see on the side here, it's got a little thumb break. And that's just going to be so you can tuck that underneath your belt. You run it underneath your belt, just fold it back over and it snaps right into place. On the other side, that little buttons are going to be on the inside of the holster. And you got two of them. You got two of them on your pistol side as it's a little more weight on that side. And you want to keep your pistol more, a little more secure, of course. So you got two buttons there. Like I said, same thing on this one. Just run it underneath your belt, bring it back up, and snap it right into place. So the straps are all leather. Uh, they um, are extremely comfortable. I was worried if they might be real stiff when they came in when I got the holster. But they're real supple. That leather is nice and soft and just conforms to your shoulders real nicely. As you can see here, you got a couple screws on each side. On your back side, which is going to be all leather back there as well, you got a couple more screws and then you got your holes. 
So when you get this holster in, when I got mine in, it took me a while, maybe a week and a half of adjusting it and trying it for a day, readjusting, trying it for another day, and so on and so forth to get it to exactly where I wanted it. Now, if you run it too loose, everything's going to be real floppy and kind of flopping around on you. You're going to print a lot more when wearing like a light jacket or a coat or anything. A little bit too tight, you're going to be giving yourself a wedgie. So you definitely don't want to be doing either one of those. So it does take a little bit of playing with to go ahead and find the correct adjustment for you. And there are plenty of settings on there you can see. Like I said, it took me about a week and a half. And I um, just wanted to get it so it would be really comfortable for me. Now for the most part, everything's going to be metal snaps and everything on here. Now these screws, I'm not sure if they're aluminum or if maybe they're plastic. I'm not sure. So that might be my one ding on this holster as I would like to see steel screws in there. Now with that said, I've had absolutely zero issue with those. But I could foresee maybe some people not liking that. So that would be my one ding on the holster. Um, as uh, someone who's been carrying for a long time now, I always recommend when you find your right adjustments on your holsters, any kind of screws, you know, whether it's a leather holster like this, Kydex, anything out, else inside the waistband, outside the waistband, go ahead and put some, a little bit of dab of blue Loctite on your screws to make sure they stay locked in place and they don't ever back out. So what I've been wearing this holster for primarily so far is for work around the farm here. And when I'm outside working, sometimes outside the waistband pistols can get in the way and kind of brush up and hit things when I'm outside working. Or um, especially like appendix rigs. When I'm constantly bending over picking stuff up off the ground out here, it can be extremely uncomfortable. So I found this holster to be extremely comfortable way for carrying around the farm here. And when I'm out doing yard work, doing whatever I need to around the farm. This is the holster I've been wearing in order to do so. Now, most of you aren't going to have a farm. You're out, you know, picking crap up around and cleaning all that stuff up and are wanting to wear this, you know, when you're out and about doing your daily business. So go ahead and throw on a light hoodie for you here real quick and let you see how it conceals. Okay, so here we go with the light hoodie on. As you can see, it is unzipped. Um, you can see there, uh, there is no printing. Uh, now every once in a while if you move in a, like a very specific direction you might be able to pick up on it a little bit but this is an extremely lightweight hoodie it is my go-to hoodie um, this is the one even though we're in the middle of winter right now that I still wear when I'm out and about um, I could dress warmer but it's just a comfortable hoodie and I really enjoy it so when you're carrying like this you can still get in there and you kind of want to clear your garment when you're drawing with it of course and draw <clears throat> And so, watch that thumb break. We'll let you see that one more time. And I did some of this in the shooting video earlier as well. Clear your garment, draw, and present. So if you're wearing a thicker garment, it's going to conceal this even better. Uh, or suit coat, you know, you're going to be perfectly fine wearing this. And no one's going to be any the wiser. Unless they come up and give you a hug or something, you know, and they feel it on you. But otherwise, um, I am extremely impressed with this holster. I have enjoyed it so much so far. And uh, really appreciate Craft Holster sending it out to the channel for review. So again, code Romeo Alpha, or Alpha Romeo 10, remember my own channel name, will save you 10% off your entire purchase over at Craft Holsters. Uh, if you guys have questions or anything on it, let me know. Otherwise, I appreciate you watching. As always, you guys, we'll catch you next time. And God bless. Crap, 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 crap. Why can't I ever say the freaking phrase right? It's not that freaking hard, man.